Hi, I'm Ben here, just to go over a few new features that we've just rolled into the self-care portal. Okay, first things first is the Lunar PBX improvements, so we'll look at those first. When you go to your Lunar PBX, you'll now see there are a few new options in here. First one you'll see is whole music, so you can now specify um, your own whole music. We have four available on there, you can obviously use the system defaults, or you can choose some of the four others we have on there. The other option we now have is an outside line access key. If you need to basically emulate an old PBX, but basically you dial like say 9 in order to get an outside line, you can now do so. Bearing in mind this is also granular, so you can either apply it to the entire PBX, or you can apply it per extension. So if we go to extensions, select an extension, and you'll now see that there's also an option here as well. So you can obviously use the PBX default, you can specify none, or you can specify a particular one per extension. So obviously giving you granular control over what is used. Other options we have rolled in include a new feature within the Core Detail Record screen. This basically allows you to see uh, the SIP details of calls you make and receive. So obviously if you're using um, translation to SIP and you're having some issues or you're interested about the, uh, the details of, the, of uh, the SIP traffic passing between yourselves and us, you can now see it for yourself. So what you need to do is just go to your Core Detail Record screen, load your calls, and you'll see obviously the uh, calls that you see there. Now if you go using your mouse and you hover over the date and time within the call you're interested in, you'll now see a pop-up. And this is basically uh, information from our system that basically shows you the communication between our side and your server. So this basically is the, each particular hop. So in this case, we're interested in this one. So we click view. This will now open a new window and this is basically all the SIP information that we gather on our particular sniffer, which is obviously a VoIP monitor. And if you look on SIP history, you can see the SIP information, you can delve into it, you can look at it in, in fine granular detail, and you can look at all stages of the SIP dialogue. This is obviously here in order to allow people to investigate and debug their own problems. If they have issues with their PBX or having issues with receiving calls, this system will allow you to investigate and see all the information that you that we can see from our side. If you obviously should need to download the PCAP for yourself to, for local storage, you can obviously do so from here. Uh, and then obviously you can save that locally and look at it within Wireshark and do whatever you need to. So that's another very useful feature that we have just rolled in. One other thing I need to go through is within the Lunar PBX system, you now have the ability to set the codex per extension. Now we do obviously have a uh, auto detect system. So basically when you make an outbound call, we will detect the codex which your phone's offering and then basically set that per, on the particular extension as the codex it uses. You can now, if you want to, define your own codex. So you can go in here and you can specify codex as per the trunk system and specify which codex you want us to offer your phone. Obviously this allows you a bit more control over the codex that you are using. The only other thing we have launched is the a multiple login credential system within the system. This basically allows you to um, add and remove additional users per account. So rather than just having the one set of credentials to log in, you can have an additional set of credentials for uh, different people, and you can also set uh, notification preferences uh, per user as well. If you need or are interested in that, you will need to get contact ourselves in order to get that set up. And that's it. Those are the new features we have recently launched. We are obviously always keen to hear from customers about what they want to see within the system, what improvements we can make, and so on and so forth. So if you do think there is a feature missing, or there is a problem, or you think that the portal could be uh, better in any way, then please let us know at support at numbergroup.com. And then obviously, if we believe that the suggestion is worthwhile and it will be beneficial for all our customers, we will then roll it into our next update. Okay, so that's it. Any further questions, like I say, please contact us at support at numbergroup.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.